The one, what happened to you, is a new picture book which tells the story of Joe, a young boy with one leg who's always asked the same question by other children he meets. It's been written by James Catchpole and it addresses how a disabled child may want to be spoken to. James joins us now from Oxford alongside illustrator Karen George, who's in Bristol. Morning to you both. Um, morning. Hi morning. Um, James, it's really interesting. I've read the book. Really interesting because children are curious. The joy of children is they ask those questions straight out, don't they, with kind of often with, with no weight to them. But perhaps what this book is doing now is talking about how the person who's being asked the questions feels. Absolutely, yeah. So it's natural for children to be curious, and every time I go in the playground, there'll be a, a three or a four or five year old who'll just be astonished to see I've got a fewer than the traditional number of legs. Of course, they all say something and you get a bit of an interrogation going and that's okay for me I've been used to it for a, a great number of years but when you're four or five yourself and every time you go in the playground you get this interrogation it can't but help single you out and make you feel different and it and it almost well it does it, it brings into your identity there is so much more to anyone than their physical appearance so you felt that this was necessary to write. And who do you think? I mean, it's not just for children, I think. I think parents can learn a lot from this too. There's a few groups, I suppose. I, I mean, I wrote it, first of all, for myself, aged five. It's hopefully the book that would have been useful for me at that age. It would have been useful to know that it wasn't... I wasn't obliged to answer the question, what happened to you? It's hard to find ways not to answer it, but I didn't have to. The social expectation was that I did, and yet not necessary. But it's also obviously for non-disabled children so that they can start to see what it would be like to have that question asked of you all the time. And for parents of non-disabled children as well, who often actually come up to me in the playground after their child has yelled someone and say uh, something and say, sorry, what do I do now? What am I supposed to do in this situation? So we, we put a bit of a note in the back of the book to try and help them along. Oh, well, I, mean, I think it's such a great idea because it's practical. It's practical, a lovely book, and the, we, everyone gets the idea behind it. Karen, Talk to us a little bit about the illustrations for it, because uh, when you first saw it, when you first heard of it, and then you first read it, did you instantly have a... How does that work with an illustrator? You instantly know what you were looking for, how you were going to go. Um, well, it, it started off that I'd actually written a book about a bear with one leg, um, which I had intended to be really uplifting and positive, and I was looking for an agent. So um, I'd exchanged a couple of emails with James previously, and he seemed like a a nice chap. So I thought I'd send this, this book to him. So I wrote an email and in that moment before you press send, I just wanted to check that I'd pitched it okay to him. So in that moment, I decided to Google James because I'd never seen um, a picture of him and thought it'd be useful to put a, a face to his name. Um, and I came across this video of James Catchpole agent showing off some pretty good um, football skills. And like the bear in my story, James had one leg, which just seemed incredible that, and, and just absolutely grounded me because I didn't know what to do. I thought if I send it to James, um, he's going to think I, I wrote it especially for him. But my younger son, Jim, was watching it with me and he's a keen footballer. And he said, mum, just send it to the footballer. Look at his crossbar tricks. So that's how it, it came to James and that's how he connected. So it started off um, with being a bear with one leg. Mm. Um, Karen, you've actually read this to young children. How did they react? Oh, it was great. I'm, I'm also a primary school librarian, so it was really lovely to sit in a school library with children with me in the same room after a long time and, and read it. And it was great and they, they laughed at it and they went very quiet at the right times and it, it just worked really well it's really nice there's nothing like reading a story mm. that's Children nice die. to hear isn't it james that's lovely to hear it, it's wonderful to hear i can't tell you actually that to hear that karen's made it work with a class of children and to see actually that it started to work for disabled children who were in touch with on Instagram by their parents is really a, 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 I can't tell you what a thrill it is. It's wonderful. Well, it's been lovely catching up with you both this morning. Thank you both very much.